Hello guys, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can make a color picker. It will allow you to change your material of any object during a runtime. So let's get into it. So first thing first, we need to create a, a button. So I will create a button text mesh pro. And uh, right now I will change my Canva. So when you create your Canva, we need to change the constant pixel to scale with screen size and the default resolution I will put to 920 to uh, 1080 all right I will let the render mode to screen space overlay doesn't matter and this button will allow me to change the color of any material to do that <coughs> I need to uh, delay this uh, this text because I don't need this and something very important you need to put the anchor of this button right now so I can click that and hold uh, on Mac is option shift on window I don't know uh, I think it's control shift or alt shift just um, make sure to set the pivot uh, on the corner uh, left like this okay so my button need to have uh, so right now my button is here so okay and let's put a width and a height of maybe uh, 500 by 500 okay nice so we can save the, um, the scene and what we want to put in this image how uh, we need the color picker so to do this um, I will put a link in the, in the description to when you can download the picture I, I use thanks to the website um, Color, color tool net. Okay, so as soon as you import your um, your image, what we need to do is to change the texture type. So the, the texture type will be uh, sprite 2D and UI. And make sure to check the read and write uh, enable enabled, because this will be used for be able to picking the um, the pixel of our image. So. Uh, as soon as you finish this, we can we can s apply our change, and right now we can drag and drop our uh, image to our UI script. Okay, right now we got a very nice color picker. Okay, we can save our scene, and uh, right now what we want to do is to create a 3D object, maybe a sphere. Okay, uh, so let's center it. All right. And uh, let's create a material of this uh, sphere. So material, let's create a material, material, where is it? There it is. And let's say unlight material. So I will use uh, unlit uh, material because um, you will see much uh, easier the color picker change how this works. So to change the, unlight, the, the material, just go on shader just go on unlight and yes say color so right now it's white and as soon as i will change the, um, the color blue yellow purple or anything this fair this sphere will turn to our um, our color so anyway so let's save it and right now let's create our code so go on the script and let's create a code a c sharp script and let's call this one color picker color picker all right so let's open it in visual studio okay so right now i don't need any of the start or update function <coughs> what i need is using uh, unity engine.ui unity uh, okay unity engine.ui okay and that will be it so let's create our first uh, variable so let's say serial as field and what we need to do when we take is the rec transform so rec transform of our texture so texture okay um, after that what i need so again serial is field and I need the game object, so this one will be my uh, test. So let's call it sphere test. Okay, so 
quality, all right. After that, what I need to have is a serialized field again, and I need a 2D texture, so texture uh, 2D, and this will be my reference um, of, uh, of my sprite, or maybe, yeah, reference sprite. So that's it, and um, let's create a function so let's create a private so private uh, set call private void set color so okay so what we need to do we need a vector 3 so uh, vector 3 dot image position so this will allow me to have my image pose and this image pose will be equal to my texture, so uh, uh, texture. Okay, where is it? Texture dot position. Okay, so before going further, uh, let's drag and drop our our variable in Unity. So before drag and drop uh, the um, variable, so let's create an empty game object. And let's call it uh, color picker manager. Color picker manager. Let's reset it so we don't need it, but still a nice thing to do. And let's call our script. So color, uh, where is it? Color, color picker. Okay. And as as I told you, so we need the texture. So right now we need to drag and drop our button. All right. Uh, we need the sphere test, so this drag and drop, and we need the reference sprite. So um, what I need to do is to go on the sprite I drag and drop on my folder sprite, and drag and drop it on the reference sprite. Okay, so let's save this. Let's head back to Visual Studio, and let's add two more variables in our function set color. So let's add float uh, global. Uh, pose uh, global pose x it will be equal to input dot mouse position so input dot mouse position dot x minus the image pose dot x of our uh, picture and let's create another variable so let's create a float global pose y and this one will be equal i i think you guessed it input dot uh, mouse position dot y minus the image uh, image pose dot y all right we can save this and now let me explain to you why we are doing this and why we need to anchor this uh, button uh, on the bottom left so here we go so right now we got um, a screen like this of our device and what we use is the input so input dot mouse position so uh, the thing is with the input mouse position the um, reference is like this so we got the x axis like this and the y axis like this so with input mouse position the x like this and the y is like this so the reference 0 0 is here and this is why because right now let me put uh, the color picker in green to be sure so this is why we anchor our green uh, the our color picker on the bottom because right now so color picker here so let me color picker okay sorry i'm writing very bad but it's, it's okay and the thing is um we put the color picker here because uh when we are we are in zero zero so right here with the input mouse position we are in the color picker at zero zero even if we move the color picker here right now so maybe on the position of our mouse so let me uh, write color picker here right now so even with the mouse in blue 
maybe here on why we I say any I say uh, something terrible maybe here we are a uh, hundred and twelve and here we got uh, we are here in eight hundred maybe for the color picker because the color picker um, is anchor here the position will be subtract of our input position input mouse position and we will still uh, start our color picker at zero zero here and because we got a new uh, referential for our color picker right now the, st the referential of the color picker is still here so y and x and the zero zero is still here as the same as we put the color picker here the referential is not moving even if we put the 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 image of the color picker anything in our canvas so i hope it's it's clear and right now we can go through the script okay so now let's declare our um, other variable so let's say int so local uh, position of x will be equal so we need to post this uh, this so what we want to do is a int and what we want to pass is so we'll say a global position of x so we'll take the current position uh, of our mouse minus the image, image, image position multiply by so we need the reference script so ref uh, sprite so sorry ref sprite so ref sprite dot width because we are on x axis divide by the texture so uh, texture texture dot rect dot width right for for being proportional okay so we'll do the same for the y-axis so int okay uh, position y uh, global position y and uh, not width but height okay and let's take the height too okay and last thing we want to do i mean we need to do two more things we need to create a color so we take a color c will be equal to so we will call our reference sprite dot and we will get the pixel of i think you guessed it the local position x and the local position y okay and the uh, last thing we need to do so i want to create a function for this so let's create a void uh, void set uh, void set actual color okay and we'll take in parameter a color c for example and what we want to do in this color we'll just take our sphere test so we'll do a sphere test dot get component so we'll take the component of the mesh renderer all right and we'll get through uh, through his material dot color and we'll say this color will be equal to C all right let's say this and last thing we need to do we need to create a public so public uh, let's call on click so on click uh, uh, picker color and what we need to do oh sorry i forget to put a void here like this and what we need to do with this color pick a color uh on click pick a color we just need to call our set color just that simple so we can save everything so do not forget to call your function you just create because it will not work so that is very stupid of my part so let's call it c Let's save it and let's test it. And on the button, what we need to, to create is to add uh, an unclick. 
Uh, on the button, we can um, we can change uh, the transition to none because we don't need the transition, but we need uh, unclick function. So we just need to drag and drop our picker manager, and we want to call uh, the function unclick pick color. So if you want to do it on the runtime and not to be even uh, uh, need to to click each time, we can add an event. So event trigger. We need to add a new event and we'll use a drag event. Each time we'll drag our um, our mouse. So let's add this event, let's drag and drop the color picker and let's uh, call the function uh, on click picker color. So let's save everything, make sure again everything is drag and drop in your script and let's hit play and let's test our color picker uh, customize UI. So, so right now let's pick a blue color and as you can see everything is working just fine. We can take a red, we can take a green, we can take a white, we can take a black, we can take a blue purple like this and even the red and even if you move the button so let's change this position like this maybe like this as you can see even if I click on the blue right now the blue is showing even if I take yellow, green, red or any type of of color is working just fine so that's it guys so hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something and uh, voila thanks for watching so if content equal equal to like or user learned something equal to true user should thumb up plus subscribe else user should dislike but help me to improve thank you and i catch you guys next time